Hey, happy Tuesday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. I got big updates for you, not only for the tropics, what's going on with our weather pattern, because our hurricane season literally just turned weird. And I'll show you why I say that, and I think you really need to be on high alert starting next week. Plus, you can see right here for the Eastern Pacific, we have two invests. Now, it's not going to be Gilma. Gilma's still going to curve to the north, but we have two invests right here that are literally aiming towards Hawaii. And the guidance was showing that everything was going to go right below Hawaii. But now things are changing. And it's looking like they could come really close. Even still weakening down as it approaches the islands. That's normally what happens for y'all. But some show that it could go up to a hurricane status and weaken down as a strong tropical storm. But you can see the majority of the ensembles showing it would be mostly on y'all as well. Plus our next severe weather event that's going to be happening. That big storm that's coming in from Canada through the northwest. Showing that that negative tilt isn't even going to be there no more. And it's going on a higher ridge. And the impacts are going to be moving into Canada. And it's really going to start calming down for the lower 48. Plus the Atlantic side of what is booming right now or not but i got some big information on what is coming around the corner so you literally need to either get ready for a big hurricane coming your way starting next week or nothing until the very end of september the very beginning of october now yesterday we did get a few wind damage reports that's what the light blue is we also had some flood reports we did get also two tornado reports in colorado one of them being a land spout Plus, you can still see that we're in that high ridge. Big dome of heat kicking in into that trough of the cool air. So you're still getting cool air coming in. This is where our next few systems are still coming through, but not showing a lot of strength. No chances for tornadoes for the next few days for sure. This is chances for a little bit of wind and a little bit of hail for tomorrow and for the day after. That's all you have so far on our severe weather. Now, your temperatures are still going to be great for some and terrible for others. So your highs for today, all the way for the Ohio Valley, Tennessee, Kentucky Valley, all the way down to the northeast, y'all going to be in the 70s and the 60s all day long, maybe even the 50s for New England. Everyone else is going to be in the 90s all the way up into Canada, all the way across towards the southwest, and getting over 110 degrees still for Arizona, California, for northwestern Mexico, and Nevada. And Texas, unfortunately, you're going to be in that heat bubble for a while. And as you go through your heat in the seas, it's going to raise it up. So those that are not in the 100 degree heat and seas along the Gulf Coast of Texas, you're going to feel like you're in over 100 degrees still for today and over 110 spreading across the southwest and Mexico. Now for tonight, the coolness is coming back down again, but unfortunately it's not going to be in this region. You're still going to be in the high 70s to the low 80s. The northwest is going to be in the 50s, maybe the low 60s. But over here for the Tennessee, Kentucky Valley, all the way down to the northern half of the deep south, y'all going to be into the 60s. So you can start feeling this cool air coming a little bit further towards the southern side. And you're going to be in the 40s over here for northern Wisconsin, UP of Michigan, Michigan, Indiana, possibly in the 40s, low 50s, all the way from Ohio, West Virginia through the northeast. Now, tomorrow, this heat's going to come right back again. But once again, for your highs for tomorrow, you're going to be in the 50s and 60s in the northeast. But the 90s come right back in the same areas, even over 100 degrees now. Chances for 110 or more in southern Texas. And once again, whoever don't have it along the Gulf Coast, your heat in the seats for tomorrow is going to make you feel like you're over 110 also and in southwest and Mexico. But you can see when you look at your tropopause that you still have all this cool weather that's coming down all the way towards the northeast. You got the cool weather coming in with that next system in the northwest. While well, you get that high region of heat that's still going to persist. So that has not changed. But what has changed is a negative tilt on that storm going further and further to the north into Canada. While you still have the cooler weather coming in from the northwest with that next storm system. But you're still in that heat bubble over here for the south central and it does stretch as we go through the coming days but you can see how this right here don't really get on that negative tilt maybe a little bit 
as it starts to leave through Montana, a little bit of North Dakota, going into Canada. So that storm has greatly weakened down, and you see this upper level low, this front induced low that's forming up. Still not showing any strength with that. Might bring some rainfall, but this stationary front that we are going into, where it just stays right here, is bringing all this precipitation in this region, and it's going to start adding up to a lot of rainfall, especially for Florida. The damage and winds has gone down greatly. Now you might even get some 40s, maybe some 50s and higher elevations as that system goes into Canada. Maybe bring y'all some 40 and 50s over there, but it has calmed down greatly. Most of the 50s are gone, the 60s are gone, that negative tilt is gone. And you can see the storms are just gonna bring the rainfall all into Canada, so it's not even really affecting us anymore on there but you can see where that stalled front is bringing all the heavy rainfall right into the bahamas right into florida and maybe along the georgia and south carolina coast and that upper level low that front induced low is bringing some rainfall towards the gulf coast of louisiana and into texas as well all right let's get into the tropics and talk about what is happening first let's go by the eastern pacific with these two invests that are threatening hawaii now these two invests that are going together will emerge together. They are at 80% in the next seven days, 80% in the next 48 hours. These systems are expected to merge later today or tonight, and gradual development is expected after they merge. Also showing two different outcomes with what's, the, what's going to happen, and we'll get more information as they merge together, then we'll get a new track and guidance on what's going on with that system. Now you see right here, Invest 90E is going to be in a strengthening tropical storm phase, showing literally right before four and five days, it could become a low-grade hurricane. This is shown by multiple hurricane models, even one taking it all the way up to a major. Showing the track guidance on that, that it would be a little bit south of the islands and just keep going on that westward path and it all depends on which one takes shape so we know which track is going to go by so by 91e invest 91e you can see all of them are showing this is going straight for hawaii and we look at the intensity showing confirming it will be a strong tropical storm to more likely a strengthening hurricane headed towards Hawaii, literally in three to five days. Latest track guidance, of course, looking at the Euro, showing it will go a little further to the west and it won't be too many impacts. Now, when you go by GFS, GFS did show that, showed it a little bit closer, kind of looping around the islands. When you go by the latest update, the 60 that just come out, it has agreed that this is going to be a strengthening storm and headed straight for Hawaii. Definitely show that it will get to a hurricane status, but it won't stay it. Usually when these storms come towards Hawaii, they weaken down as it goes, but still this would be a direct impact. The hurricane models, they show a hurricane forming up and headed straight into that direction. And north and east would be a lot of the intensity as it passes by. Also trending with the other hurricane analysis forecast system model straight for Hawaii as a hurricane. Now on the Atlantic side, we have so much activity going on. Just not yet. <laughs> Maybe next week, according to what I can see with the ensembles, but from what I can see, this is just what I'm thinking, that as we go through August, we might see some late formations going west, maybe even all the way late going west is what I can see. But as we go through the very beginning of September, a lot of these are going to be northern off the coast of Africa, and they're going to be zinging right into the Atlantic because they're going to be northern going around high pressure. But some of these are going to be southern every now and then and get carried along to this way remain weak still because we're going to be an unfavorable environment matter of fact the new information shows unfavorable all the way until the end of september and maybe curving around a high pressure maybe going along the coast and maybe going into atlantic where we need to watch out for the caribbean and maybe bermuda again but not showing a lot of strength all the strength in the deterministic models has left. Now, when you look at our post, I reposted this on my X. Make sure you go to links in the description. Follow me on other platforms as well. Brian McNoldy, Meteorologist of the Year, 
has posted this the other day. That our Gulf of Mexico, not only was it very warm last year, it is the warmest ever and still climbing. So if any tropical waves go in that direction, it will strengthen up and form quick. Only problem is we don't see a lot going in that direction. So this is where the information changes. It's either going to be a banger or a bus. So this is the latest on the ensembles according to multiple weather models. I'll show you. This one's according to the URL showing still right as we go to the end of August, beginning of September. We still got this wave that's coming. Still showing this wave is going in this direction. Could go either into these two directions. Could even go further to the west. Now the latest information shows it could still strengthen up. We say you get possible front end dues, late formations, but still show something could strengthen up and still go into that direction. While at the same time, you can see for the Atlantic Basin that a lot of these are going to start curving early as well because they're coming off northern off the coast of Africa. These right here would be the ones that would be coming off southern and making it all the way to the west. Now, we've seen this on multiple ensembles, not just one. So you see literally end of August, beginning of September, also agreeing something is coming around the corner, turning, that's, that's what's trending with Euro as well, turning up the coast, kind of like what we had with Debbie, and maybe some late formations going right into the Gulf because that water is so hot at the same time. These turning out very quickly in the Atlantic, northern off the coast of Africa. Now, when we go by the GFS, it's not very confident. It's taking it even weaker, but it is agreeing that something could be forming up around that time and turning. So it is trending that we have a tropical storm hurricane that's going to be coming right at the very end of August, right at the very beginning of September, in a few days into September, either going into these two directions. That's trending with all three of the ensembles. Matter of fact, when we look at the latest update with the control member with the URL, showing the very same thing. We could have a weak wave coming through and turning by Florida and then strengthening out way out here. It might be another issue for Bermuda, but you can see that turn happening. You can see these coming off the coast of Africa, going right into the Atlantic. Ghost satellite is showing our dust is getting less and less. And you can see as we go around at time, we do get some strong waves coming off the coast of Africa. But once again, look how far north that is. That is going to turn like this. You can already see it's making that west-northwest path. Well, we still got a little bit of dry dust still there. Now, when we check the latest probabilities on a tropical depression, at least to form a tropical cyclone period, you can see all the way till September 2nd, maybe something forming up late into the Gulf of Mexico, go into the west like we've been talking about here. But look at this also. You can see this path is starting to come west, but it's starting to curve on that northwest path. You can see this when you go forward a little bit more. Is trending that it will be more of that turning going on rather than anything else in the tropics. And this is going all the way until the first 10 days of September. Past that shows more of that. And just like I showed you yesterday, hey, something isn't averaging out when we look at our potential velocity anomaly. Look at the update. Unfavorable environment moving into our region all the way until the end of September. Matter of fact, when you go by the 10th of September all the way to the 20th of September, showing off the coast of Africa will be unfavorable environment, not favorable environment like we have waves coming off right now. I say banger or bust because last time we seen this, it showed nothing and we had barrel literally out of this which is very odd to me i've never seen that in the years i've done this just want to point that out again but still here we go again so the ensembles say we're about to have something next week trending not showing any lift any vorticity coming into our region it's gotten worse since yesterday now, Climate Prediction Center is going to update this page today. I will post it on my community tab. I think we're going to see more of this down here to nothing. 
Let's see. If we see something going into the Gulf, I'm going to be amazed. And that has been the latest update. So thank you so much for your time, everybody. Tell me what you think down below. Is the ensembles right? It is trending. Do we have this storm coming in the beginning of September, coming towards Florida and the East Coast, maybe even the Gulf? Or is it going to be a calm and quiet September? I truly hope y'all have a great day today. And in spite of everything, I just want to praise God. Whether it's good news, bad news, just praise God. Just to be alive in general. It is a blessing. We all are alive only by the grace of God. Amen. So let's sing to him. <laughs> Psalm 100. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations. Amen. Have a great day, everybody. Watch out for those hot temperatures. If you're in that heat dome, I'm so sorry that you are still in that dome. Everyone else is in those cooler temperatures. Enjoy those temperatures because it's going to be all week. Remember, all glory does go to God, our Father, Yahweh, in heaven. And I always hope he keeps you safe every single day of your life. You, your family, your neighbors, your friends, even your enemies. Remember, bless your enemies. They will become your friends. They're just people having a hard time. That's all. But all glory always goes to God. And forever. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Have a great day, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow.